Ooh, that's nasty. What's up, Fit Club? Coach Andrew here with another Therapy Thursday. We are doing a three-part series on anterior hip pain while doing deep squats, or just good advice for getting better at squats. The three-part series is gonna include how to improve ankle mobility, hip mobility, and then again, good core bracing. All right, so part one, we're gonna focus on ankle mobility. Come over here, Jerome. Now to assess good ankle mobility, we are really checking for ankle dorsiflexion. So what you need to do is you wanna go about a hand or a fist length away from a wall, kinda of line up your foot right with there. And what we're going to do is come into a half kneeling position. And what we're gonna do is try and get our knee to the wall without our heel rising. So if you see your heel pop up when you do this, that means we're limited in dorsiflexion and that's gonna affect our squat. Now, ideally you wanna try and keep your heel down and get your knee to the wall. And if you can do that, your ankle is clear for squats, for good performance in squats. Let's say the heel did rise up. These are three drills that you can do to help improve that ankle dorsiflexion. Exercise one over here. What you're gonna need is one of these bands and what we're trying to do is we're gonna try and distract the ankle joint so we can get a nice good capsular stretch. Why is it important? We need good ankle dorsiflexion because if our heels rise up during squats, we're gonna get a little bit more shearing into the knee and we're gonna get a little bit more quad emphasis which is gonna help, or which is not gonna help, which is gonna pull on that anterior hip, okay? So how we address this, get in the band, put it in front of the ankle there, and then just a little weight on top here. And all we're going to do is we're just gonna do a little weight shift. And again, just like we did the screening, you wanna leave your heel down. And we're just gonna rock our knee right over top of our toe a few times. Just make sure you got a good, nice, tall spine when you're doing this. And I'll do about 10 to 15 reps. Part two, same exercise, but we're gonna do a little toe lift off. We gotta try and engage our extensor hallucis longus as well as our tibialis anterior. So, Grabbing that same weight, leaving the heel down, bring that knee over top of those toes, keeping the heel down, and from there, uh, try and extend your toes, get into the extensor digitorum. Again, that extensor hallucis longus, and good. One more time, and again, do about 10, 15 reps. Uh, lifting up those toes, and good. After 10, 15 reps there, if your knees can handle a deep squat, great. If not, if you've got any meniscus issues, I wouldn't probably try this exercise, but this is another exercise to help create some dorsiflexion. Keeping the chest tall, come into a nice deep squat, and then from here what we're going to do is just basically do some weight shifting. So we're just shifting our weight side to side through our body, trying to keep that heel down, keeping the spine nice and tall here, and just shift back and forth about 10 times. Okay, once you've done all three exercises, Go back to the wall and try and retest now. So again, about a hand length away from the wall, keeping the heel down, chest up, and you'll be able to have a lot more mobility now. Stay tuned for next week. We're gonna address any hip range of motion. If you like this video, please like, comment, or share. If you yourself are seeking athletic therapy, please follow the information below and give me a ring a -ling. Everybody, we will see you on the blue. Have a great day, Fit Club!